Vanity Fair, I live an extravagant life and I make no apologies for it. I'm free as a motherfucker. Mmm. So welcome to the love era. You know, I take it seriously. God sent me here and I'm not leaving till shit changes. It's time for that superpower, which is love. It ain't no joke. The world needs it. That's the war that we in. Love is war. You know, this is a very serious mission. Very high risk mission that God sent me on. It ain't even a black or white thing at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's love versus hate. And if you see the devil, tell him I'm looking for him. So I started out at Sean Combs. Grew up in Harlem. In my first job, I was a paper boy. I was a bus boy. They wouldn't even let me be a waiter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a waiter so bad. I always had that hustle. We're going to do whatever. So we're going to try to pick. We're going to try anything y'all want to try. So everybody get your ideas ready, and we go. We work. And see, that's June Ambrose. She's here. The Kaito's killing it. You feel me? That shit look hard right there. Hey, y'all. That's what's up. That's how you Life is to be unexpected. Let's go in there and do some unexpected. Because I don't want to do no shit, shit with nobody telling me to do shit. I'm, if y'all not getting that right now, I'm past that age. <laughs> I don't give a f Let my body get in the atmosphere. Let me show you what I got. Let's go in there and f shit up. Oh, man, f shit up totally. One day I woke up with, with like around like 15 roaches on my face. People were like, how you know it was 15? I was like, if you had 15 roaches on your face, you would know there was around 15 roaches on your face. And I was like, nah, man, I'm not doing that shit. That. I was like kind of depressed, running around, dancing in the clubs. I'm always, I was a, I still am the greatest dancer in the world. I'm still the greatest dancer in the world. But I was so good that they would just pick me for the music videos. That's when music came into my life. So then I tracked down Andre Harrell. I said, I will clean your car, I'll wash whatever, I'll do whatever. Because where he's at, that was the post of the music. I'm the way I am because of him, you know what I'm saying? He like taught me everything, he let me be me. He let me be free, you know? He always said that I was the original intern in the music industry. When he passed, I was like, oh, man, I gotta really, really get on it. Because the mentorship for me, I couldn't have made it without it. People can't make it without mentorship. They need to understand what's really real. There's too much fake news out here. He gave me the mentorship, but also gave me the runway and the resources to be great. So then I went to Clive Davis, then I did Bad Boy. I crushed shit for the 90s, 2000. After the 2000s, mm -hmm. running the New York Marathon, starting on Broadway, opening up three schools on them. So it's like, boom, we like out here changing the world. That leads us up to the day. One, two, three, love, love, love! Starting the cult. <laughs> I love cult. <laughs> As long as it stays all love. I told her what to fix with the girls here. Perfect. Authentic. Yeah. In high fashion, you know what I'm saying? I said if Beyonce ain't gonna wear it, I don't want it on them. You getting it all, baby. Just keep shooting. You're gonna get it all. Oh my god! Did you see these pictures? I think it's important to know who you are, you know what I'm saying? If that's you, then that's you. This is me. Make sure that I play my part in changing the world. Because every day you get another chance, and every day I strive to be loved. Peace.